Hello, Relativity friends. Uh, this morning I was reading uh, about some of the history of uh, relativity and the founding fathers of that, Einstein obviously being the first. And I started noticing something really weird. It's rather disturbing. <laughs> I want to show it to you. Okay, let's get started. In 1908, Herman Minkowski realized that the special theory of relativity introduced by his former student, Albert Einstein, in 1905 could best be understood by four-dimensional space, since known as Minkowski space-time. So he introduced to us a, a geometrical the version of space-time. Herman Minkowski died in 1909, one year after he published this. Carl Schwartz child provided the first exact solutions, they mean non-trivial, to the Einstein the field equations of general relativity for a limited case of a, a single spherical non-rotating mass, which he accomplished in 1915, the same year that Einstein introduced the theory. Carl Schwarzschild died one year later in 1916. His uh, The Schwarzschild, the metric, uh, led later on to the uh, understanding black holes. So it was very, very important. Alexander Friedman in 1922 introduced the idea of the expanding universe that contained moving matter. This led to the development of the Big Bang Death Theory. Alexander Friedman died three years later in 1925. So, three in a row of the founding fathers of relativity died shortly after publishing their paper. I'm glad I'm not smart enough to publish a paper. Later, dudes.